Hey everybody, welcome to a special edition. Um, this is a video about how I organize my stash, my supplies, uh, my life. Um, there's not gonna be a lot of cross stitch other than you're actually gonna see a lot of stash flash, but um, not going to do uh, like what I've been stitching, whips, stuff like that right now. That'll be in the next video. So this is a special edition. Um, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Julie. Channel is Kansas City Girl in a Colorado World. Let's talk about Kansas City for a minute, you guys. Let's talk about the Chiefs. One more game. One more game. And the Chiefs can be in the Super Bowl. If they win, one more game. If they lose that game, they will not be in the Super Bowl. So this Sunday at 4.20 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, 6.20 p.m. Eastern, Chiefs will play the Patriots at Arrowhead at home for the honor of competing in the Super Bowl for the AFC Championship. For this reason, this entire week is Spirit Week here at the Rummins Masterson household. So... Um, we live in Colorado, which is Broncos country, so that's a little rough. Um, luckily, the Broncos were terrible this year, so it was really, it was really nice actually being here for that. Um, all right, I'm not going to talk about football too much, I promise, because I know some of you thumbs down the football talk. I just want to show you my Chiefs spirit wear, aka flair, is what I call it. Um, so generally in Chiefs Kingdom which is primarily Kansas City, but Chiefs Kingdom is worldwide. Um, in Chiefs Kingdom on Fridays before a game, we call it Red Friday, and you wear all your Chiefs gear. Usually they're playing on Sunday, but Red Friday, you go to work, you go to school, you deck out. I do that, and I have always done that, but because this game is so big, and because we could go to the frickin' Super Bowl, which hasn't happened since like the 50s, I'm doing the entire week of Red Friday. So it's not Red Friday, it's Red Week. I'm, I, this is not all in my flair. I have much more. I'm wearing different flair every day. Anyway, today, got my Chiefs headdress earrings. I made these, so crafty. My Chiefs headband. I've got, I don't know if you can see this. Got a necklace that says, KC, and I've got an arrowhead necklace, arrowhead, home of the chiefs, and then I've got my scarf, which says Kansas City. All right, okay, I'll shut up about football now. Go Chiefs, go Chiefs. Lincoln just walked by, he's got his Chiefs collar. We're ready, we're ready here. Sharon. Pam, I'm sorry. The rest of the country wants the Patriots to lose on Sunday. Like, they've, they've been enough. They've been enough. Tom Brady has enough rings. It's all good. It's let someone else have a chance, okay? Okay. All right, so um, I'm going to show you my Happy Planner stuff because a lot of you have asked about that. Um, and it does include stitching. It's how I track some of my stitching stuff. And then I am looking around my room. I'm going to show you some of my room, not all of it, because some of it is not clean. Um, this is a three-bedroom house. Actually, this is a four-bedroom house. We have an entirely finished basement with a bathroom that they count as a fourth bedroom. We use that as like our guest suite. When people come to visit us, they stay in the, the guest suite downstairs. So we have three bedrooms upstairs. And it's just the two of us. So I have my own room and my boyfriend has his own room. He got the smallest one. I got the biggest one. <laughs> and so in this room, I have my closet, all my clothes. I have my makeup, my vanity station. Um, I have all my stitching stuff behind me and then more stitching and quilting and crafty stuff on the bookshelves next to me. So I'm gonna show you guys what's going on with that situation. 
Um, some people have asked how I store my stuff, how I organize my stuff. That's what prompted this video. And then for Christmas, my sister got me a ton of happy planner stuff. And a lot of you asked to see that. So that's what prompted additional for this video. There's been a delay because I was trying to set up my happy planner. Okay, so here's the deal about happy planners. What the heck is a happy planner? Some, some of you may be asking. Um, it is literally just a planner. It's just super duper cute and they sell tons of accessories. Um, it is called the company that sells, so the logo, no, that's not it. The company is the happy planner. It's by me and my big ideas. So it's also called Mambi, M-A-M-B-I. They were a scrapbook company for a long time. Well, they still are. Um, I used to do scrapbooking. I don't anymore. Just no real reason. I just kind of stopped doing it. Um, I still have tons and tons of supplies downstairs in our basement. Um, but anyway, they were a scrapbook company. And they put out tons of really cute stuff. And then about two or three years ago, I think it was about three years ago, they came out with this happy planner. It was really pretty random. Um, I think that they realized scrapbooking was possibly, um, well, I'm sure was a dying business for them uh, because the popularity has definitely waned. A lot of scrapbook stores have closed. Um, anyway, I think they were trying to branch out and keep their company viable. And I think they've done a good job because it seems like these happy planners are super popular. Uh, but anyway, they're, they're just really cute planners with tons of accessories. You can buy them primarily at Michael's, Joann's, and Hobby Lobby, but now you can get them at Walmart too. Um, I don't, I'm pretty sure Target doesn't sell them, but Walmart does and uh, a limited amount, but like the, the vast majority of it is going to be at, at Michael's and Joann's and Hobby Lobby. And I forgot to show you guys. I also have spirit nails this week. Just. Okay. So my sister got me this hat. Okay. No, wait, backstory. Sorry. Um, I didn't really think this video out. Sorry guys. I had a happy planner myself, um, like in 2017 and I used it pretty, like I was actually really good about using it for a while. Um, and then I kind of fell off a little bit. I got my, I told my sister about it, got her into it. And then in 2018, I decided I wasn't keeping up with it. I was doing a crappy job, um, cause it's a time commitment to sit and do this crap. So I decided to do a bullet journal and just keep like a really streamlined, simple notebook. Um, I had grand ideas of doing like the beautiful illustrations and hand lettering that people do in their bullet journals. It's not what happened, but I used it. It was actually really handy. Just a nice portable little notebook that I kept like bills and wish lists and tasks and calendars. I mean, you can track anything. You can track budget. You can track your period you can track um weight you know whatever i used it for all that stuff and then i was kind of like i think i want to go back to a happy planner next year for 2019 i think i'm feeling that again and my sister was like girl i got you i got you she's like don't buy anything don't buy anything i'm giving you happy planner stuff for christmas <laughs> and boy did she ever Granted, I already had like a lot of stickers and washi tape of my own. Um, so she bought me this happy planner. It's called the Socialite. And this one's really nice because it has metal discs. Um, the first generation happy planners had plastic discs, which are fine. But once you use these metal ones, you like the plastic ones feel so cheap and, and terrible. Um, anyway, it comes in, you know, they have like tons of designs of planners. This one is called, this is the classic size. They also have a mini, which I'll show you. And then they have a jumbo, which I don't have. That's just bigger than this. And, um, they're all a little different inside, but the concept is pretty much the same on all of them. They are, um, weekly spreads with like a nice monthly option. A few of them are horizontal layouts instead of vertical layouts, 
but the traditional classic is a vertical layout. So let me show you, like, I'm flipping to a blank. So this is like the monthly spread. Actually, let me show you first. There's a tab with July. So this is your July like dashboard. They're all, every journal has a different kind of layout, but usually it's something like priorities for the month, goals for the month, things to remember. And then the tab. So then you have your monthly spread. This is where you can just do kind of an overview of what's going on in the month. And then you get your weekly spreads. So this can be just a nice, simple planner, but, um, you can go hog wild with these things. There are so many accessories, stickers, washi tape, dashboards, dividers, pockets. I mean, it goes on and on and on. These rings are really pretty cool. You can buy a special punch so that you can put your own paper in here. But basically, you um, if you start at the top and just gently fold down, you can remove these. And then they just snap right back in and they stay put. So you can switch out the rings. I mean, you can really go crazy with these. You can, uh, a lot of people do something called Franken Planner where they they buy more than one of these and they combine them. Um, you can do all sorts of crazy things. So this is the one she got me. So it's the Hey Socialite Planner. I haven't put my name in it yet because I want to practice my hand lettering so I can do it real pretty. Then there is um, 2019 and the 2020 just really basic calendar overview and then this is really nice this is like I'm just using this for birthdays it's all the months the next page is the second half of the year and then we get to January so here's how I decorated my January spread oh see also really handy with this it literally like folds all the way back if you'd like um, so January, I didn't like all the like goals and dates to remember and priority stuff. So I just threw stickers over mine. <laughs> I just basically put a bunch of stickers on here. Um, the only thing I really wanted to like highlight for January was I'm really trying to be good and save my money. Don't buy stuff. Don't buy makeup. Don't buy cross stitch stuff. Settle down. So then, so this is, by the way, this is not my stitching planner. I'll show you that in a second. This is just my like basic life planner. Okay, so then we get to January, uh, monthly spread. I have put a little dashboard in here where I have reminded myself what bills I have to pay every month. And then I'll move this, when I get to February, I'll move it to February. So that will come in handy. Um, I've just put like highlights of big events for the month, like work party, when bills are due, um, and a couple of goals. I don't personally like do much decoration on the monthly page, but you can do as much as you want. This is a nice little magnet clip that I use to keep my weeks together after I'm done with the week. So here was my first week of January. So this is what you can do. And I'm by no means an artist with these things. You should go look on Instagram. Some people are crazy. So like, remember what a blank week looks like? Let me show you. This is what the week looks like to start. And this is after you decorate it with your stickers and your tape and your fun stuff. So I've got stuff on here, you know, just reminder, save your money, pay your bills, just notes of things that are going on in my life. Here is the second week of January. So this is really like a fun creative outlet. You can get pretty crazy with these if you choose. This is, um, these are just little sticky notes. 
So you can like put stuff like this in here to use as you're, as you're planning. And then, um, <laughs> Chiefs win, Chiefs beat the Colts. Okay, and then this is this week. So I've got another dashboard. Um, and the reason is that when this is closed and I want to flip right to this week, I, I have that tab so I can flip right open. I also put this little paper clip on to really help me find it. So this is this week, which it's only Tuesday, so I don't have much going on on this week yet. I've decorated, but I haven't really written a whole lot in yet. My dashboard, again, I have the one that's just today, just kind of get me going to the right spot. And then on the back, I'm keeping kind of a running, uh, this is just like note paper, a running list of things I need to do. I call it my brain dump. So it's like, you know, organize your paperwork and make the dog a vet visit, stuff like that. And then I'm keeping a little like list of fun things I want to buy because I'm not buying stuff for myself now. So when I want something, I write it down. So when I can, it's time to treat myself, I can, I can look back at that list. Um, and then this tab, I have more like bills and savings stuff. Um, I write down my like weekly, you know, these lift up and I can write down like what I spent that day. Just budget stuff. You guys don't need to see that. Although I'm going to be better at that this year. All right. And then next week is blank. I haven't gone that far. You can plan out as far ahead as you want. Or you can do like I do. These weeks start on Monday. So on Sunday I sit down and decorate. Okay. So that is, let me see. I don't think I have anything else fun in here. So that's my basic planner. I um, put it, my sister also sent a cover for it. So this is the cover she sent me, like she bought it on Etsy. You can buy Happy Planner accessories there. Um, so it, this is, I showed you the cover it came with. This is the cover I've swapped on. Okay, so that was my, that, that's what she sent me. And then I couldn't help myself and I went a little crazy and I bought a few more, so. I bought the wellness fitness planner because it was 60% off at Michael's. Okay. So this is, I'm using this one for, it's called the healthy hero. And I am using this one. There's the year overview. Here's my January goal page. I'm using this to do meal planning, weight loss, fitness, calorie tracking, stuff like that. My goals are meal plan, track weight, work out four times a week, drink plenty of water. And then my month, I'm going to kind of zoom out because it's got, I've got my weight on here. <laughs> so basically for the month view, I just like write my weight down every day and I write my meal plan for the week, like what we're eating that week. I've got a little um, sticky tab where I'm, I've got meal, meal ideas for when I'm planning out the week. And then here's my first week. Oh, let me show you what a blank week looks like. This one was a little harder for me to figure out like decoration wise, the layout's a little weird. So here's my first week. So I've decorated with stickers. Um, I'm writing like motivational stuff up here. I'm writing what I ate here. And then all my workouts are down here. There's also a water tracker, but I wasn't very good about using that. So I kind of stopped using that the next week. So here's last week. And then here's this week. And I've got a little dashboard so I can flip right to my page. So this week's still pretty blank. Okay, so that's my fitness planner. Did I need that? No, absolutely not. It was on sale. Okay, and then here's the part that's actually probably relevant to your interest if you've stuck with me this long. <laughs> I got a mini planner. How cute. Look how cute it is, guys. In comparison... Here's the regular size. Here's the mini. So I'm using the mini planner. 
to track stitching, reading, and things of the like, hobbies, floss tube stuff. But the mini planner, I had, I bought this mini planner last year and I, it's a, um, instead of the vertical layout that I've been showing you, it's a horizontal layout for most of these and it was not working for me. I could not get it, I just couldn't make it work. I really struggled with it. And then I found out there were some vertical layouts, so I really looked and looked and looked to find a vertical layout for this one. And I finally found one. I hated the, the design of it, but I wanted the vertical layout. So it looked like this. These rainbow discs and this. And I just, it's not my style at all. But I, I wanted the vertical pages inside. So... I took my cover from last year and swapped them. So I have the pages of this journal in here, but I put this cover on it. I hope that makes sense. But this one has these little bitty rings and um, it wasn't enough to hold all my crap. So I also swapped out bigger rings on my mini so I could make it fatter. Okay, so here's how I've got this set up. So this is really the most fun one for me. So, first I have a little like sticky note tab where I write like things I need to talk about in my next floss tube. Not this one, but my next real one. So I'm just using that just basically to catch notes. And we've got the years. And then we've got January. I did put some goals for January. Finish a whip. Complete a book for the Harry Potter challenge for uh, the School of Magical Stitching. Stitching and reading, I think it's called on Facebook. I've done more than that. And work on a chatelaine. I haven't done that yet. I got two. And I said my mantra is no bye. So then... Um, this is my January overview and I don't really need a January overview for this. So I have had, I have another little sticky on here where I'm putting quick notes of like TV shows I want to check out. And then for my Facebook group, my challenges I'm putting on these little cards here, uh, to keep them straight because Kate and Vicky have so many challenges going on and I'm having a, a tough time like keeping it straight. So I'm writing it down. Like these are the extra credit stitching challenges for the month. And these are the reading extra credit reading challenges. And then this is, I'm keeping track of my points as I finish challenges so that I can look back and make sure I got awarded my points. And then like the month is blank because I don't really have anything else to put on there. I've got another little a uh, sticky tab, a magnet tab to keep my pages together as I complete my weeks. I'll take that off so I can show you what I've been doing with my weeks. So <laughs> this is the first week of January. So again, I, I adopted, I found a planner that has a vertical layout Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Most of them are horizontal, so they go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and one. And I don't like, it. just, it's hard for me to make that work. Um, let me show you a blank one so you can see what I've done, because I did end up dividing it. So here's what it looks like, blank. It's, it's very, you can tell this one's not as ornate as the other, it's very simple. So I've used washi tape to make mine divided into sections, but it's still ultimately vertical. So at the top, I'm doing my goals. In the middle, I'm doing my reading. And in the bottom, I'm doing my stitching. So I'm putting like, you know, these. this was the challenge for the School of Magical Stitches. Um, I recorded a floss tube this day, so I noted that January 5th. These are the books I'm reading. And then this was last week. More challenge stuff at the top. Goals. Uh, be better at posting on Instagram. I never, ever, ever pick 
put pictures on Instagram. I'm terrible at that. So I need to be better at that. Um, what I was reading that week. What I was stitching that week. And then this is this week. Again, reminded myself, post on Instagram. The week's just getting started, so I don't have much in the way of what I'm reading or stitching. <laughs> so we're just getting started. And then tomorrow, or next week is blank. Nothing in there yet. Okay, so those are my planners. I have three. I know, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, but it's fun. It's so fun. All right, let me show you my planner crap real quick. This video is going to be longer than I thought because I rambled. I'm sorry. So I'm going to do this really quick. So my sister bought me another cover. Um, this is not full of planner stuff. This is full of stickers and accessories. So she bought me two covers. This was the other one and I already had rings. So I put the covers together and then in the inside I'm actually holding um, accessories. So these are Happy Planner Pockets. I've got like my budget stickers here, and then here I've got um, the notepad, note papers. These are nice. They're sticky. You can just throw them on the week and jot down notes. And then here's more post-its and stickies. And then here's, um, here's more post-its. And then this is a pocket and I've stuffed it full of my loose stickers. I have more stickers. This is just all my loose stickers. Another pocket if I so need it. More pockets, more pockets. These I can't really figure out how to use. That's why they're in here and not in my happy planner. I have no idea what I, I mean, I think people use them for like coupons and receipts, but I don't ever tend to hang on to those things. So I don't really need those or business cards. I don't know. That's what you could use those for. This is just blank paper. You can put in the back of your planner, like keep lists and things like that. Um, extra dividers, extra dashboards, which are basically just placeholders. I did forget to show you something in my mini planner. I just realized that. I, at the back of my planner, I have tabs where I keep track of a lot more detail on what I'm reading and stitching. So this one is books. And this is where I'm tracking the books I have read for the year, which isn't many yet, but we'll get more. I read 55 last year. And then the next one is whips. So here is, I listed out all my whips. So this was just extra blank paper. I listed out my whips. Took four pages because there are 97, but I finished one yesterday, so there's 96 now. And then the next tab is finishes for the year. A little sad, but we'll get there. I actually do have one to add. I finished one last night. And then the next tab is wish list. So as I discover cross stitch stuff I want, I'm writing it down. And then the last tab is blank right now, but it's contacts. I'm gonna keep people's addresses there. Okay, sorry, forgot to show you guys that. Okay, so, um, we might have to do a part two. Gosh, we're going on 30 minutes. We might have to do a part two for the tour. I don't know. We'll see. This is what my sister sent me. Stickers. She sent me these three little sticker books. They have, they're very cute. Um, I have no idea why, but they have stickers, but I don't know why they come in this tiny model. Because they also have bigger sticker books that have very similar size stickers. I don't know why these are little baby ones, but they're sure cute. So she sent me three of those. She sent me this washi stickers. So instead of washi tape, it's washi stickers. So these look like strips of washi tape. But then there's, so like 
those you would use just like the rolls of washi tapes, but then there's actually like full on stickers too. They just have a different texture than what a regular sticker would. They're kind of that clear translucent like washi tape kind of look. Um, and then she sent me the socialite sticker book. So these are the best thing about happy planner. These sticker books, when they come out with new ones, people lose their minds. So the socialite sticker book, it kind of shows you on the back, like all the different stickers that are in there, but these are what you use to decorate. So let me show you a, an example here. If we zoom in of someone else's happy planner, that's actually the same happy planner I have the socialite, but like, look how much nicer that looks than mine. And see if you're if you're talented, you can really get these to look amazing. But ultimately, like do what works. Whatever's gonna work for you, you need to do what works for you. Don't worry if your happy planner's ugly, it's fine. All right, and then she got me the gold star quotes sticker book. It has all these in it. My goodness. So many stickers. And then she got me these, these are really fun. These are more, these are stickers with more functionality. These are like pretty, just pretty stickers. And then these are post-its. And then these are like snap-in tabs. They're not even sticky. They're snap-in tabs that have cool stuff on them. Very cool. And then she got me these, which are more simple stickers, not as many as the sticker books. So those were the, those are all the stickers. These are, these are all the happy planner stickers she bought me. And then she got me a bunch from Hobby Lobby, which are not me and my big ideas brand happy planner, but they work and they're adorable. So these are from Hobby Lobby. It's L. LOL. These stickers are so cute. Oh my gosh. They're like super girly. Really pretty. And then this one is called 100% Girl. <laughs> also very cute stuff in here. So Hobby Lobby is in on the, the knockoff happy planner stuff. <laughs> this one's also from Hobby Lobby. It's all like, um, holiday kind of stuff, which is pretty cool. The, um, the fall ones are so cute. No, the Christmas ones. Look how cute these are for Christmas. And then there's also like more of a vintagey Christmas here. Pretty. I'll be able to use those in December. And then these are also from Hobby Lobby that she got me just more. They're definitely planner stickers. They're not just random stickers. I mean, they're for planner. So they have like, you know, like reminder, date night, appointment. Okay, so she got me that. And then I had my own stickers, but those are mostly in this book I showed you, like loose stickers here. And then I went and bought my own, these two on my own these two sticker books they have um, this one's fitness so it's all like motivational workout stuff and this one is called journaling doodles it's really fun because you can color this stuff in it's all black and white but you can color it in and then I have my washi tape so this was one thing I already had an extensive washi tape collection <laughs> but she bought me more so I'm not going to show you how all this goes because there's just, there's too much, but this is all my washi tape in this box. I have some stamp stuff in here and then I, ha I do have like spare rings if I ever want to change the color out on my happy planner. All right. So that's, I think that's all she got me. That's all my haul, my haul. 
And then today I was at Walmart to grab something and I couldn't resist buying this. It's an expansion pack or it's an accessory pack. It comes with like cute little post-its, cute little post-its, some extra paper, a folder and some stickers and a cute little paper clip for marking your place. I bought it because I need some blank paper for my planner. So that's what that is. Oh, okay, that's, that's really it, pretty much. Okay, so I'm gonna flip you guys around and show you guys how I'm storing this. All right, hold on. Okay guys, pardon my mess. So I got this rolling cart at Michael's, I think. This is rose gold. I think these are like $30. So I've got my planner up here, my planners up here. Here's all my pens, which I didn't show you, but you know, whatever. Here's Lincoln. Hi, Lincoln. Hi. These I heard were super awesome. So I bought these at Target. They are pretty super awesome, you guys. And then here, this is what I just bought. I haven't put it away yet, but here is where I'm keeping my accessories. So in here's all my washi tape, here's all my stickers and stuff, and then here's more stickers. And then on the bottom, I'm keeping my extra planner stuff that I'm not using right now. Okay, so I intended this video to show all my cross stitch stuff with all my happy planner stuff, but I yacked way too long about my happy planner stuff. So I'm gonna upload this and then I'll do a part two where I show you what is inside here, which is all my cross stitch storage. Lincoln doesn't like me talking, standing and walking around and talking to myself. Um, and then what's in here? Woo! Stay tuned, part two. All right, see you guys later. Bye.